Most people believe that Thomas Savory was the one who invented the steam engine. It's powered trains, machines, even a whole revolution. But is that really the truth? What if I told you that the steam engine goes all the way back to ancient Greece? What if I told you it was invented by a hero? The hero, hero of Alexandria, yes, that's his name, was a Greek mathematician and inventor. He invented the Eolipoli, a machine that sends steam through angled pipes when you heat water in the bowl underneath it. The pipes point in different directions, so steam blowing out of them causes the wheel to spin. But this machine was just made for display. The first steam engine made for practical use was invented by, not Thomas Savory, Geronimo de Ayans was a Spanish man who had a problem. Spain's mines were flooding. He needed a machine that could pump water out of the mines and let the miners keep working. So in 1606, he submitted a patent for the first steam-powered machine that could remove water from the mines. This means that Thomas Savory was inspired by Diaz, right? Wrong. Denis Pepin was a French physicist who's credited with inventing the steam cooker. His invention, the steam digester, gave him ideas on how to create a cylinder and pistol steam engine. But they stayed ideas. It was Thomas Savory who took the concept and physics Pepin thought of and turned them into a real machine. He used two steam boilers to make an engine that could continuously pump water out of mines. More and more scientists improved on his design until the humble steam engine became powerful enough to start a revolution, the Industrial Revolution. Did you know about Thomas Savory's predecessors? What other secrets of the steam engine do you know about? 